Congratulations, you are approved. You have done everything that your lender has asked you to do and they just told you you are approved. Now what? Well, let's not go shopping quite just yet. Let's think about the things that you actually want in this property. This is a big investment for you. Probably one of the biggest investments you'll ever make in your lifetime. So we want to get this right the first go round. Let's sit down and jot down all your must haves. First, let's think about location. Location, location, location. Where is it that you'd like to live? Would you like to be near your work or maybe near a school that your children may be attending if you have children? Or are you more of the city downtown living type person where there's crowds of people and very live areas and walking and restaurants to go to all night long? Or are you more of a rural person where you like to be spread out from everyone and have more green space and just more of a more secluded, more relaxing environment. What type of home would you like to live in? Would you like a single family home, maybe a ranch style or a two story home or, or a town home or a condo is more of your liking? And what type of floor plan would you like to have? Would you like to have an open floor plan where your kitchen and your living room and dining room areas all flow together smoothly this is very popular today. It's great for entertaining. Or would you like more of a private setting where your rooms are more secluded and closed off and not so open to everyone where you could see everyone at once? What would you like in that home? Would you like three bedrooms or four bedrooms? How many bathrooms would you like? What would you like it to have? Would you like for it to have an office or maybe a man cave or, you know, just things that you would like for this place to have to fit your lifestyle? These are just some of the things that you really need to think of before you actually start to go out and look at properties. This will help you understand more of what you want by writing it down when thinking about it and also help me as your realtor narrow down the properties that best fit your criteria. I'm from Charleston, South Carolina, so I know this area very well. So that would help me to navigate where it is I need to show you properties at. Also, make sure your must-haves and your approval amount match. You don't want to be looking for a home with a gourmet kitchen and a spa-like bathroom with an in-ground pool when your approval amount is $100,000. So be realistic when writing down all of the must-haves in your property. Make sure that they are equal to what you are approved for. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to listen to me today. Until next time, please subscribe to my channel and comment. Let me know what information you'd like for me to bring you about today's market in Charleston, South Carolina. I'm here to answer any questions you may have. Thank you.